Today, I am the bearer of good news when it comes to Elemental Pro. That's right, something positive this way comes. All joking aside. Recently, I released a video on the Loop Builder, which was in Alpha or Beta. Well, I kind of wanted to come back today and just revisit this to see if there's been any changes on some of the things that I criticized about the original version of this in the video. One of the most important things that was missing in the last video was the support for dynamic data, advanced custom fields, those kinds of things. Today, we're going to take a look if that's been rectified. Quick disclaimer, it has, but let's take a quick look at it anyway. Now, if you've seen the original video, you might want to flick through to the actual bit where we take a look at ACF data. If this is new to you or you just want a refresher, follow along. This is going to be a whistle stop tour with no design or anything, so don't think it's going to make it look amazing at the end. Okay, so I've created a blank page. And you can see I've got the experimental feature enabled alongside the container, which you have to have both of these enabled. We're going to grab the loop grid. We're going to simply go ahead and drop that into our page. And as you can see, we now have to create a template if we haven't already created one. And I would recommend checking out my first video because I go into a lot more detail about how to do this. But what you can do from this point is we can save or update this page. And then we can click to create a template. And this is going to create that loop template. So if you've ever used things like Crocker Block Jet Engine or anything like that with the listings, this is very familiar and in a very similar kind of fashion. So now what we've got to do is go ahead and build out the design for that card, which will be replicated throughout our loop. So you can see we've got our options for post title, excerpt, featured image, those kinds of things. And also we've got all the normal features which you can pull dynamic data in from. So let's very quickly create a basic card. We'll grab our featured image, drop that in there, and you see that pulls in an image. If you want to adjust this, you can go ahead and you can edit the query and so on when we go back to the loop builder, and I'll show you that in a moment. So let's go ahead, let's add in the post title. Let's set that to be something like H4, so it's a bit smaller. We'll come back to our Rubik's Cube. We'll say we'll grab the post con, actually let's go for the post excerpt. We'll drop that underneath there. We'll drop a button in, just to demonstrate how you can still grab in dynamic data. So we'll just put in a title for this. And we'll click the little dynamic tags option and we'll say we want the post URL. So now we've created our very basic card. So let's go ahead now and add in some custom dynamic data from ACF. So for this, I'm going to grab a heading. I'm going to drop that underneath the title. We're going to set this to be a div so I can style it any way that I want. We'll come to our dynamic tags. We'll click and scroll to the bottom and there's ACF fields. So if we open that up, click our little wrench icon. I've got two fields created for price and location. Let's grab our price field, come into advanced. We'll put in the precursor text. So there's our price. We'll give that a second to update and boom, you can see the price appears. Now this appeared in the previous video, but on the live loop itself and on the front end of the site, it wouldn't appear. That's been rectified, thankfully. Let's duplicate this. Let's just set this to be the second field. So we'll come back to our little wrench icon. We'll set this to be location, change our text. And there we go. So now if we click on update and we just say save and edit, you probably can't see it. There's a little yellow piece at the top. We'll click to jump back into that and give it a second to. And you can see there's our loop all set up and working. So now if we take a look at previewing the changes, we'll see that our dynamic data has now actually been pulled through. So it's great to see that they are rolling these updates out that we do now have dynamic data support. Obviously, there's still things missing. This is still a beta or an alpha version, so there's still things missing. There are still some quirks that I found. If I come out of this and go back to a previous page that I was working on testing this out, you can see this is set up in basically the exact same way, just a little bit of styling applied to it. Let's come in and edit our template. And what I'm finding is when I'm editing the template, when I make changes to the colors and so on, they don't actually reflect inside the editor. So for example, if we come down to the button, we'll select it. Uh, we'll come over to our styles. We'll change the color of the button to something else. We'll say this button color. And as you can see, absolutely nothing happens. We save it and go back. So we'll say save and back. Once it refreshes, still now we actually see the changes in there. And when you kind of go ahead and edit the template, when you jump back in, you can see it doesn't actually update in the editing of the template. Again, this is one of those things I'm sure they will update this to get it all working. And we won't have to worry about it. But for now, it's just worth bearing in mind that there are still some issues with it. So please don't use this on a live site. But 
I just want to show you that now dynamic data is being pulled in. We can start to use it. So if you want to test this out on a test server to kind of get up to speed with it, you can do that now with some dynamic data. Hopefully this will continue to expand, more features will be added in, more support, and we'll get something that actually rivals or beats the likes of jet engines listing and so on. Only time will tell. As always, I welcome your feedback. Let me know in the comment section below. My name is Paul C, this is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.